Hey guys, welcome to Weekly Crypto. Today I'm going to talk about upcoming Bitcoin hard fork. Yes, we have another Bitcoin hard fork again. So we have Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Diamond, Bitcoin Gold, and recently Bitcoin Pirate. We have so many Bitcoin hard fork, we cannot even count how many of them. It seems like we have uh, Bitcoin uh, hard fork fatigue. Oh, uh, before we get into that, uh, just to remind you guys, we are going to have Monero half fork, uh, Monero V half fork coming up. So Monero V half fork, um, the snapshot will be on block height one five six four nine six five. We have two day, two more days to go. So currently we are at block height one five six three three six eight five. If you watch my previous video about Monero V hard fork uh, that I created a month ago, you should be well prepared for this hard fork. So you can go back and check out my video how you can claim this uh, free Monero V uh, token. Also, um, EOS, uh, EOS uh, that token, you probably get uh, the free airdrop a few weeks ago. So uh, if you watch my previous video, so you can Check your my EFA wallet whether you get the free airdrop. I checked my wallet is already there, so check it out the EOS uh that uh token. Okay, so why uh let's go back to this uh anomalous Bitcoin half fault. So why they have another half fault? So here they talk about this is basically the half fault. Uh, they take the best of the technology of both uh, blockchain, the block uh the Bitcoin and also C Classic. So for Bitcoin, we know that Bitcoin is not anonymous at all because um, you can see the transaction uh, on the blockchain. For true anonymous, so you have to use Monero, not Bitcoin. So in order to do that, so they, they are trying to create anonymous Bitcoin, they are going to introduce the C, uh, ZK Snacks. ZK Snacks uh, is, is used in Zcash for the privacy protocol. C, uh, C Classic is the half fork of C Cash. So by introducing uh, this privacy protocol, um, then um, it will have the anonymity for the Bitcoin. Also, they are going to increase the speed of transactions. As we all know, big, uh, all know Bitcoin is only for store of value. I mean, it's not got, it's not good for day to day transactions at all. In addition to uh, piracy and the speed of transactions, they also want to do master node as well. Let's go back up here. So this will be a proof of work uh, algorithm and also they want to do true anonymity. And also they believe strongly believe the community um, to build this project together. Also they, they want to create a master node so you can stick your coin over there and then it incentivizes uh, long-term uh, hodlers and allow for dividends uh, style returns over time. Also, uh, they also have a governance protocol as well. Exchange support is also very important. They are in the process of working on high volume exchange and they want to provide a complete package of both privacy as well as utility. At the end, they want to achieve mass adoption, like mainstream adoption and all that. Transparency is like during the half fork process, they want to be transparent because a lot of half fork is sometimes we don't even know, right? <laughs> so that's the reason why they want to do another half fork. For the community, uh, they, have, they have that in Twitter. Currently in Twitter, they have 1,300 followers. Uh, it's not that many followers, but you know, you never know because if the uh, project gain momentum and more pe more and more people know about this project, this can go sub grow substantially. For example, Monero V. When I talk about this Monero V uh, half for project a month ago, they probably have less than 2,000 followers. Right now, they have over 9,300 followers. So as more and more pe people know about this Anonymous Bitcoin project, they will that will gain momentum. For Telegram, they have less than fifty followers right now. Um, 
Reddit, they have, uh, I think they have uh, some update as well. Uh, let's see, GitHub. In GitHub, uh, the last update is two days ago. They also work on Dash as well. So C Classic and Bitcoin. So let's look at the team. So the founder is Jay. So in LinkedIn, he is the CEO of Crypto King LLC. His background is in finance and he got his JD from St. Thomas University. Uh, he is not he, uh, he's not like a hardcore programmer per se. Uh, let's go back to the oops. And Sam is the development team lead. He is the blockchain engineer and crypto economist. So for Sam in LinkedIn, so he's a partner in Bushido Lab. So his background is in economics and also in biomedical sciences. I think he did a boot camp for the web development. So his, I mean, his background is not computer science either. So let's see, let's get back to, oops, get back here. And for Christopher, he is the development team lead as well. Uh, he's a blockchain engineer. So let's go back to, Christopher, so his partner as well. So his background is business. And he also, before he's also CTO in Demi Tech Corporation for one year. And then blockchain tech advisor four months. So it seems like the team is not like a hardcore programmers like uh, some of the projects. So here's the FAQ for this project. <clears throat> so who is supporting the anonymous Bitcoin? Currently they're working with uh, the exchange. They will announce um, they will announce it well. They will announce it well before the uh, the half hour day. So the half hour day will be on September ten. But I saw some article you say September 9th. The mainnet is going to launch on August. So for the holders of C Classic and Bitcoin, we receive one-to-one -one ratio of anonymous Bitcoin. So let me know what you think about this uh, anonymous Bitcoin half fault. Do you have a Bitcoin half fault fatigue yet? So please comment below. Let me know what you think. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the upcoming half fork ICO and airdrop. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing ICO has inherent risk. Please use your due diligence before you put your money into anything. Remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe. Peace.